safety first. All right, YouTube. How's everybody doing on this marvelous Monday? Let's get this show on the road. And we are on our way to Gross Isle. That should be an interesting trip because I've never been there before and I heard just as just like it's in the name it's on an island so I've never never even knew about it had no idea it existed stuff like that so apparently I'm in for a treat because this should be like a beautiful place um you know what I'm saying it should be like a beautiful place Beautiful scenery, nice houses, and I like that about um, this overall Michigan and trucking. You know what I'm saying? Learn something new every day. Motivation Monday, we got the motivation coming for y'all, good people. Have a good day. You gotta, you know what I'm saying? You gotta start now. Like, there is no perfect time to start something. If you're gonna be waiting for the perfect time, you're gonna be waiting. You're just gonna be waiting. You're gonna keep waiting and waiting and waiting on the perfect time to come. There is no you gotta you gotta create the perfect time. You gotta just start now. And most people start now and they just learn along the way. Like I didn't feel like there was the perfect time to start trucking. I just wanted something different and I went for it. I didn't wait for a perfect time to start my career or you know start it something started wanting to change wanted better for myself wanted new opportunities you got to get to it now so and like i always said it doesn't have to be trucking it could be anything it could be it could be pain it could be trying to be a motorcyclist it could be if you want to be you know an, an mma fighter basketball content creating i know i say content creating a lot too because definitely in the works of taking that more serious but it could be an array of things it could be just miscellaneous stuff it can just be so much you waiting on the perfect time you gotta keep waiting and waiting like I said most people learn as they go that's the best advice I got that's most people learn as they go because there is no perfect time. That's like putting something off to do it later when you can do it now. If you can do it now, why wait till later? And I think that a lot when I'm going to the gym or trying to handle like a chore or I just trying to handle some business, you know, I don't want to wait to do it if I, if I can do it now. You know what I'm saying? Get off the phone, put social media down for a second. Get off your ass, stop being lazy, get off your back and do what it is that you gotta do to get to the next level to better yourself to have a, to have a better future, all that good shit. You can't keep telling yourself, oh I'll do it, I'll do it, I'll do it. Then you forget to do it, or later it comes and then you don't wanna do it again. Because you had the time then and then later got here now you don't start doing it anymore or you do something that was different which it really ain't a priority or well, let's not say even later you know like we later might not even come but you gotta take advantage of the opportunity right then and there when it presents itself i don't want to say life is short but hey life life happens sometimes later might not get here shit happens Blink of an eye. Later might not even get here. You gotta do it. You gotta be a better you, man. That's that's what I keep saying. That's what I keep saying. Create the perfect time. There's no such thing as a perfect time. Now is the perfect time. Any time is a perfect time. Any time but later is the perfect time. Stop giving yourself excuses. Stop making excuses. 
This is one of my personal phrases. Stop, stop using the truth as an excuse. And what I mean by that is, okay, yeah, you know, uh, I'm gonna create a scenario. So like, yeah, um, like, yeah, you lost, okay, so say I lost lost my GoPro or my, you know, my, my recording device. Say I lost it, but I still got a phone. And I just got this cool ass tripod, which I'm thinking about using. So say I lost that, say I lost that. I'm still not gonna stop creating content. So yeah, I lost that, but I'm not gonna use that truth as an excuse to stop making content. You hear what I'm saying? That's what I'm saying. So stop using the truth as an excuse. And fight through it, man. Just keep your head up. Know that there's better days coming. say man oh there's there's better days coming you know what i'm saying shit ain't gonna be fucked up forever you know really that's all i got yeah we about to do this delivery i'm gonna definitely get some footage of those out because it'll be nice getting here they said i gotta cross the bridge and whatnot so and I'll let y'all know when I get there. So, till then, man, I'll see y'all in part two. There's definitely gonna be a part two. I know I've been driving late, but there's gonna be a part two, man. Like always, if you could like this video, comment if you want to, subscribe to the channel, please. I would greatly appreciate it. So, till then, y'all, peace. I'm gonna try to hook up this tripod. Nice. Got a green light on the bridge. Still be a good day to get on the boat. It's nice. Nice views. It's not that, no, not that far. We're from Detroit. Very low. I think that's my address. Yeah, I want to do some like self solo exploring, maybe. Come on here. I remember I went to Port Huron one time on like a solo trip. This was when I was still doing lift. I dropped somebody off there. I'm like, you know what? Let me see what it's like. You know, I hear this like on my own. And I went out there. I had this good ass Coney Island spot. I don't think it was a Coney Island. Shit. Motherfucker had some good food. I had this Euro. Man. Ice houses. Okay. Look at this house. It's going crazy. That's a nice house. I'm just showing y'all what it's like here in Rose Isle. Rose Isle, Michigan.
got a shot a couple good videos of me and um and gross isle michigan earlier i wouldn't call that part two and i wouldn't call this part two either i'm just you know giving you a glimpse of what i do on a day-to-day -day basis as a truck driver and it should be more i'm sorry yeah i got three of them yeah yeah there's no room to turn. I didn't want to break the uh the bricks. I don't know what they. I don't know their problem, man. Okay. That's fine. Okay, sounds good. All right. No problem. I'll take a water. Thanks. Thank you. I was gonna ask him how he um how he got like, got that house. Well, it's clear. It's clear how he got that house. And it should be easier to hear me too, cause I'm not. It's not like stuck on the window or whatever. But yeah, you know, I've just been um <clears throat> doing these deliveries. I'm in Epsilon right now. Sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. As you can see, I'm a, I'm in the middle of the street, delivering to that place over there. I wasn't at that place, but it's a house. The man got a nice crib. The man's got a nice crib. So we gotta do what we gotta do. Get over there, deliver these tiles. You got a nice crib. Nigga got four. Oh, four, five whips. Damn, why he can live it good? Trying to be like that. You know what I'm saying? I'm just motivated to get like that. So, I'm going to ask him probably what he do for a living. I know he got some income coming in. want to ask him what's that about. Yeah, that's what we gotta do. We doing our deliveries sometimes. I'm in like a residential street. I'm on a residential street rather. I go to businesses sometimes. I went to an elementary school and a middle school last week. That's cool. So today, this is what I got. Like I said, man, it ain't bad. You know, it's, it's work. But hey, or my job. You don't normally got to do this. This is like the route they threw me on. And I'll take it. I'm active and whatnot. They got other stuff going to the same customer every day. Like Ford, GM, Chrysler, all that. But I'm in this short. Because damn, I'm tired. This shit heavy too. And it's getting hot. Sheesh. Safety first. All right. I'm about to wrap up our day. And just, you know, this, this is the legit part too right here. I had to make it official. I just, you know, this was a real life. You know what I'm saying? Just like break down to what I do throughout the whole day. I'm gonna make sure I edit this motherfucker good. Take my time, watch it. Give my undivided attention to just this. I wanna have it um, you know, good. Good. Make sure it flows all the way through. Make sure um, 
with the thumbnail on it. Cause I felt like I was on a roll, man.